We are the eternal. We do not let the child be harmed. This is how I would start our declaration of the coherent if we were to agree upon one together. We are the eternal. We do not let the child be harmed. What would come after that? I would be open to debate. What is of primary importance to me is that the basics are secured. We are the eternal and we do not let the child be harmed. Who is it that can tell me clearly, coherently, conclusively that this is not the optimal, most truthful way forward? And why would you wish to? We are the eternal and we do not let the child be harmed. It is a declaration that a child can understand and see the sense in. That we are the eternal is the absolute fact of the matter. That we do not let the child be harmed should be if we desire coherency for ourselves. And it is self-coherency that brings all the most deeply longed-for fulfillments of the soul's desires for itself. Knowing who we are, what we are, why we are. This is what self-coherency is. It is the inversion of all we can remember so far. And all we can remember so far is amnesia. Self-coherency is the inversion of self-polarization, as remembering is the inversion of forgetting, as knowing the truth is the inversion of believing the lie. You do not require full recall of your Akashic records in their entirety in order to know that you are the eternal. There is nothing else for you to be. Not if you are a living being. And you know that you are a living being if you are hearing and understanding these words right now. We are the eternal. We do not let the child be harmed. Can we please all agree to this much? I will be satisfied with this much. I don't care about the past. I care for, I tend to, the present. I can live with all and any lies of the past, so long as what is present with me here and now is the truth. What makes me intimidating to the people in my life, 
despite me being a mild-mannered lamb of a man, is that I can't not be ruthless once I do allow myself to know the truth of the matter, whatever that given matter may be. And allowing oneself to know the long avoided truth. It's no mean feat, not for us who are the children of the lie, the children of amnesia. We've been spoon fed and swallowed the lie since we were born here. And to stop feeding on that lie is a big deal for all and anybody. So be it. It's not like we're not up to it. It's not like we could possibly be not up to it. Because we couldn't possibly be not up to it. We are the eternal. Whatever flavour of self-reflection comes towards us out of the mystery, our mystery, the one thing that is always guaranteed is that we will get through it and we will be as eternal as ever on the other side of it.